So I'm thinking we might hire some mercenaries. Is there anybody who is out on hire? Yes. There's you, and I'm pretty sure there was some guy with England. Yep. The Catalan band. So what we're going to do is we're going to hire the Saxon band. And we're going to send them over to um, England to fight there. The nice thing is that because the king has declared his crusade, he can't come back until he's actually completed it. And the crusade seems to be going alright, at least now. So I guess we'll see how things go. Come on. Damn, I was really hoping that because we had so many men, such a percentage, that he would just go with it. But no, apparently not. Right, let's go take these sons of bitches out. Uh, my liege, the people in Vexen have done stuff. Okay, that's fine. Nathaniel asks, why do people die? Because they are too carefree. I like that. Um, patient? Yes, good. See, we're building him up as a good man. Very bland still, but hopefully that will improve. Alright. Now I want to see how the battle's doing. I can't see how the battle is doing. Well, hopefully we win. We should win. Ha ha! Take that. Nice. Alright. Follow them. We have enough money to last a fairly good while. And we should get a little bit more money now that we're disbanding them. Yes. Sweet nurse. Nice. Cool. So we're not doing too bad at the moment. I want to besiege his personal holdings, because the quicker we can take out his personal holdings, the better. Come on, go. I want you to take these sons of bitches out. For real this time. Castle Donjon has been built in Maloon. Good. Uh, it's all good. Where are you going? You're going to Middlesex. Well, so are we. Fancy that. Kill them all. Kill them all. Yay, good job. Kill the rest of them. Yeah, it becomes a bit of a follow the leader thing when you're uh, executing a war. Now where are you going? A blow was struck. Successful Sally. Okay. If we can wipe them out, that'll mean that I'm pretty sure they leave. No more charity. Whatever. That's fine. Good. Done. They now have no men. He has lost the hiring of those fellas. The Catalan Band has no men whatsoever. Now, we could hire the Scottish Band, but that would cost a lot of money, and we don't have a lot of money to spend. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Middlesex and besiege them there. Hello. Have three men. Good job. Now, holding in Mortain is under siege. Yeah, nice. I am quaking in my boots. But luckily, because he's over there on Crusade, we're doing alright. Yeah, you hang out in Vexen. Have fun there. At age 65, Richard de Brion died of pneumonia. Alright. I'm pretty sure that the war will also end inconclusively if I die. Or if the king dies. I think if the king dies, I technically win. Um, where's the king's stuff? Yeah, he's leading troops in Beirut. 
He wants to revoke the Duchy of Bedford. That's fine. I wonder, could I um, offer him a white piece? No, because the war is indecisive. Well, no thanks. I'm, I'm happy as is, thank you very much. Uh, he wants to improve his stewardship. He wants to revoke the Duchy of Bedford. I might get lucky, he might die. Alrighty, awesome. And we've almost got that. So what land does he personally hold? He holds Rouen, he holds Kent, he holds Middlesex, Maine, and Anjou. Okay, so we're basically besieging everywhere that we need to besiege. How many men are holding this? Lots. I don't want to uh, try and storm that one. Successful sally by the defender. Where? Uh, defenders... I don't know. Hello? Uh, what are you doing? No, he didn't call them in. Why? What? Oh! He's attacking the king for something else. He's attacking the king for Orléans. I see, but uh, it doesn't affect us because we're now technically part of the Kingdom of England. Well, that's good. It might make him more acceptable to offering peace. No, the war is indecisive. No, the war is indecisive. Yes, I like the way you're thinking. I don't. <laughs> okay, where's that? Angers. Alright. Where are you going? You're going to shot shots. You know what? You besiege that. I'm happy with you besieging that. That makes me a good, happy camper. Because hopefully these guys won't attack us. Uh, how many men are there? Lots. The nice thing is that he's pretty much emptied his entire uh, realm just to do this one thing. Which was go on crusade. So if we fight long enough we might force him to stop. I'm hoping so. We've got 12% war score thus far. He's still crusading. Failed Sally. The defend oh, hang on. Is he in there? The defenders of Beaumont. Where's Beaumont? Oh, here. I see. Jolly good. I like that the French are leaving me alone, though. That's nice. It's awfully friendly of them. Uh, food smuggled in. Beaumont. <sighs> Damn it. That's okay. Oh, wow, we're actually making money now, as opposed to losing it. That's brilliant. And we're besieging Westminster fairly handily, if I do say so myself. How many men have they got there? Enough. I want to assault it, but I'm afraid that if I assault it, it will uh, not fall, and instead we will run out of morale before we can finish the assault, which would be bad. Now this session has come up to about 3 hours and 10 minutes, so after we win the war, regardless of the outcome, I'm going to end it there. So, hopefully, it'll be a good outcome, though. So, wait, you're besieging that, you're besieging that. Where did we win? Chulet. Oh, okay, we won um, in Anjou. Is it 18%? We can't enforce our demands, but we can now offer white peace. So, if it looks like we're going to lose the war because the crusade ends, I will just offer him a white peace and things will go back to the status quo. I fear my son Nathaniel is too cynical for his age. Cynical is actually a good thing, so he can be cynical if he wants to. But if his friends aren't cynical, well... <laughs> so it looks like anyone we marry him to will be the person that we rely on. So actually, let's have a look at wives, potential wives. Uh, we don't want you, because you're homosexual. 
It's not because we're anti-gay, it's because you're just not good at what you do. Um, the next... There's really nobody who's actually kind of good at their, what they... Um, hmm. There's really kind of no one. Uh, we'll deal with it later. Victory at the Siege of Westminster. Aha! Uh -huh. The war is indecisive, but you're starting to lower that opinion. The war's not so indecisive now, is it, bitch? We might, um, storm London. Victory at Lillibon? Yeah, I think we will storm London. Um, you're all good, you're all good, you're all good. Medium stone wall's been built. Good, medium stone walls are excellent. Are you fighting with us, or what? You are... Oh, you're just fighting the king because you can. Well, that's nice. That's good, actually. And we've still got a lot of... Ooh, hello. That looks bad. I thought you were hanging out doing that whole war thing. Oh, wow. If we win the crusade, he becomes king of Jerusalem? That's interesting. Um, okay, assault. Oh, it's only 3,000 men. We could probably take that. Uh, Alison to Harcourt seeks to kill Renard. Our holding in Mortain is under besiegement. That's fine. Victory. 33%. Can we make you accept our demands? No. Could we offer white peace? Yes. We would lose 100 prestige, he would gain some. What has he got? Fair few heavy cav. But that is essentially his army. I could hire... No, I don't want to hire them though. I could hire another unit of men, but they'd appear right there. I don't want that to happen. Though, they could probably retreat. They could probably retreat and get away with it. Uh, they will arrive in or nearby Mortain. Oh, good. They arrived nearby Mortain. Excellent. They will just hang out there, and then the army of Duke Nathaniel will join them after we finish the besieging. So, these guys should be okay. There's a river between this province and Maine, that's fine. Renard is no longer steward. Oh, well that's disappointing. Arnald is. Oh, he was murdered. Well, that's not good. Alright, done. Okay, medium barracks has been built in Mortain, swell, it's been sent to collect taxes, double swell. Now we can't maintain this for very long. Should have updated our balance by now. There we go. Uh, we will lose three gold. Actually, we might be able to maintain that for a while. That actually might not be too difficult. Um, Mortain is slightly problematic. But that appears to be his entire army. Now, he's leading troops. That is his army. He's leading it. So if we capture him, we might well beat the ever-loving bejesus out of him. So I'm going to advance time. I'm going to let him besiege me as long as we can keep besieging him. So where are we besieging here? Beaumont. How long? Beaumont's at 80%. That's fine. Uh, you guys can assault it. Thank you. So we're sort of doing what um, William the Conqueror did in the beginning of the game, which is we're assaulting England, but we've got a lot more holdings than he does. Well, I guess we don't really have that many more, but um, in the grand scheme of things we do. So we want to enforce our demands. As long If we can destroy his field army, damn them all to hell, damn it. If we can destroy his field army, we've got a better chance of doing such a thing. Okay, come on. Okay, these guys are good. If we can add the 900 men of my army 
to that, we can probably beat these guys. If we can add the extra thousand from here, we can definitely do it. Hello. Truces are expiring. Between whom? We have a truce with him? Right, yes we do, because he was the one who had Mu or Mo or what whatever it's called. Why are you besieging? You're besieging Arcs. Which should fall fairly soon too. Uh yeah, you can just keep besieging like you're doing. Alright. We're actually doing really well for a war that I thought we weren't going to have to fight. Okay, you're done, so come over here, and you're almost done. Come on, be done. There we go. Alright, we're at 50%. I will try to get him to offer... Nope, he won't. He will accept our offer of white peace, but I don't want an offer of white peace. I want to win. So truces are expiring, don't care. Not our problem. Actually, it might be. If we don't end the war quickly. Uh, sod it. Just go. You will leave on the 4th of October. We will arrive in Mortain on the 5th. We're going to have to play Ring Around the Bloody Rosie. Alright. Hopefully we can get him this time. He will get out of there on the 16th, we will arrive on the 17th, but he's going to be going down this way, I believe, so we should be okay. Where are you heading now? You're not heading anywhere. Jolly good. A son was born to Alison de Harcourt. Named Galfrid. Doesn't matter. You're all good. 52% war score. Alright, assault it. I just hope we can beat him here. Oh, shit. Wait. The tide has turned. Yes! I think we can win. Yes, we can. Ha ha ha. Victory! Mayor of Sandwich has been captured in battle. You are still leading your men. Good job. Uh, he's been captured. We won't worry about him just yet. You, why not? Oh, right. Okay, we, we've won here already. Uh, where else has a small garrison? 360. There it does. Excellent. Let us take Kent, which I believe he owns as well. He does. Will you surrender, sir? No, you will not, for the war is indecisive. Balls. Well, good luck with winning. I hope we can capture him this time. No. The bald one of somewhere was captured instead. And back again. <laughs> Just keep marching back and forward, back and forward. But that's what this game is a lot of the time after you get to that point. 36 men. Yeah, good luck with that. Raymond de Normandy, that's not helpful. Vans. This place is being besieged. I could hire a third set of mercenaries if I really wanted to, and I might. But that would lower how long we could keep the war going for. How long has it actually been going for? Two years and three months. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I thought he was going the other way. I read it wrongly. Yeah, I'm going to hire a third set of mercenaries. The little one. The uh, Saxon band. Not the Saxon band. Um, the, the Catalan band. If they haven't already been hired out... Where are they? The Lombard band? No. The Swiss company? No. The Breton company? No. Catalan company? No. Great company. It's an auspicious name. The Catalan Band. There they are. 
They will arrive in or near Morte. Alright, come down this way. Yes, go that way. Seeing as these guys are probably going to try and besiege me. You need to go over there. You're going to try and besiege the besiegers. So what we have to do is win before they do that. And the French have won their war, apparently. Okay, so we're losing a bit of money, but we can handle it for now. Wait, do we want to march straight in there? There's a river between... Oh yeah, yeah, we can do that. It doesn't matter, it's not between us. You have a garrison of not much, so yes, we will take you. Beaumont. Where's Beaumont? Oh, I see. They took Beaumont and then we took it back. Right. Raymond de Normandy was imprisoned. Yes, I know. Holding in Middlesex is under. Whoa! Hello! Would you please, for the love of God, just surrender? No, come on, you pansy. So he's losing, but he doesn't want to surrender, because apparently he thinks he can still do this. That's okay, we can just camp out there as long as we need to. This place is almost done bes being besieged. Uh, the twists and turns of Nathaniel's tongues and the tongue and the white lies he uses to make friends are making my head spin. How can such a young lad be able to lie so well? I thought he already had it honest. No. He's gonna be really good at intrigue. Um, let's try and make him honest. It loses him two intrigues, though. Yeah, he's honest. But that's okay. I like honest. Honest is better. Um, right. So a lot of this comes from occupying stuff. Got 61% war score. That's actually really good. Considering that we're fighting a war against our king. A king who apparently outnumbers us. Even though I didn't think he did. Apparently he does. Uh, our knowledge of stuff has increased. Good. Our holding in Everu is under siege, but it's not anymore. Swell. Uh, you guys are gaining more soldiers as we speak. You guys are fine. Yep. The longer we hold out, the better it is for us. The army of the king. Are you leading that army? Because if you are, I would love to know. You're leading troops in Everu. You are leading that army. Good. The army of William is going after you, mate. Place taken. Emma Renades, who's our niece. Doesn't matter. She's not important. Siege of Dover was a victory. Where are you going? Okay, well, we'll head to Rouen. Try to take that. 67%. We might just win this. He might take all that back and still lose. Uh, my prisoner. Who are you, though? You are essentially nobody. Um, we shall be merciful then. Am I not merciful? Hmm. But we're doing pretty well, all things considered. I'm happy with how this is going. Ah, <laughs> uh, I just... And to think that all this is happening just because I want the bloody Duchy of Normandy. And he said, no, you can't have it could have avoided all of this if only he said okay. Holding in Paris, holding in Evreu, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. Will you surrender now? No, come on, you pansy. Yeah, generally you have to beat them a lot before they accept. He's going to win this siege. It 
might get him a little bit of um, credit there. It'll probably get him a lot. But he'll have to come over to fight us in Normandy if he wants to win. And we rule in Normandy. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Normandy is ours. You are done. Advance. I really hope we can kill him. No. Would have been nice, but no. How many men are here? 300. Oh, hello. Are we at war with you? I don't think so. We can't ally with people, though, so I'm pretty sure that he just doesn't um, fight us. But he doesn't help us either. The lack of piety I have observed in one of the courtiers makes me worried. I don't want to accuse anybody of not being a good Christian, but if my suspicions are correct... Uh, uh, confront the courtier about their lack of piety, I guess. I would have rather that I just did nothing about it and been apathetic, but apparently I can't do that. Now, are you guys coming to help me? The defeat? Yeah, that's fine. We're still at 74%. Holding in Middlesex. Yeah, you have fun with that. We're going to take, like, three of your holdings in a row. So, um, good luck. Good luck bouncing back from that one. That's all done. Let's go and see if we can't take you. Okay, we can't take you. <laughs> My beloved niece is worried that she's still not married. Alright, I'll find you someone nice. Calm down. Um, go help them, I guess. Okay. So where were you? Um, arrange a marriage. What are you good at? Ooh, you've got good book learning. Uh, let's see. Who would come here? Nobody. I don't want to marry you to my son. You're a court chaplain, so you have no need to move. You have no need to move. Stefano, however, might. Um, Stefano, would you like to come to my court? No. Hmm. Actually, how good is she? Is she that good? She's really not. She's Castilian. I'm just going to marry her to, um... Stefano, I guess. Wait. As a relative of a duke, Emma would gain no prestige and lose a hundred. Okay, but we wouldn't, so that's fine. Go forth. 83. We can take it back, though. Come on, you pansy. Blessings be. Holding in Middlesex is under besieging. That's fine. Oops. No. Go away. Um, right. No, it's just a flesh wound. There's only one place left to besiege there. There's one place left to besiege here. All of them left to besiege here. But once we've taken all these places, we can take you. I'm thinking, though, that I might just send an army across. I'll group all these guys together, send the army, and kick his ass. Alright, come on. Victory. Wait, really? Okay, do it. Assault. Nice. 87. Would you surrender now? No, it's just a flesh wound. Victory in the Siege of Sandwich. Defeat at St. Paul's. But we've got you on the ropes now. We only need to hold enough to force him to surrender. Count Fulk. Why did he bother to do that? Oh, he has a weak claim on the Catalan band. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so there is nowhere to besiege here. We already own it. We could go and we could fight. We'll probably lose. Or we can stand and we can wait for him to come to us. 
We're gonna stand and we're gonna wait for him to come to us. Pansy. We've had to do all the work here. 93. Okay, is there anywhere else to be seen? No, there is not. Alrighty, off we go. Uh, 333 men. Assault it. Come on, take it. Nice. 99%. Will you surrender now? No, it's just a flesh wound. We have to kick his ass again. Alright. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, how many men will be there? You know what? No. Gonna come over here. We're going to gather up all the boats we can possibly get. We're going to ferry our men across the channel. Come here. We're going to ferry our men across the channel. My son Nathaniel is good. Just. Alright, do we have enough boats? No. No, we do not. We're going to have to send the army across in two parts. That's okay, though. We can do that. Alright, you. Embark. On there. And then sail over here. No, you. Sail here. Army. Go ashore. My mission has been a success. Good. Come here. We are going to bring our army across. We are going to bludgeon him so very, very hard. He won't even see straight. Nice. Alright. Come back over here. Combine all of the armies. Robert. Off we go. We don't need you anymore. Whatever. Go on, run. Run, you bastard. Haha. -ha. You didn't run. You should win. Should win. I say should. Are you kidding? So be it. Uh, the war continues. Good. Good. The war continues. We have a new heir. Who we'll plays somebody? Not inherit the county of Vexen. That's fine. Uh, domain is still too big. Whatever. Not important. We'll deal with it later. Right now, we just want to win the war. Which I believe we have done. Surrender. We are totally beaten. Huzzah. Alright. The army of Robert and all levies will stand down. No retinues will continue. Yada yada yada. He's still fighting What's-His-Face, and apparently we're still fighting What's-His-Face, but I don't care. Nice. So we can declare war. We can declare war and claim Normandy for ourselves, if we want to. But we don't. Not at this point. First we want to see who likes us, who hates us. You don't like us, because our domain is too big, presumably. Nope. You're envious. You're just basically bastards. Alright, it's time to think about a marriage for this fella. But that will come next time. Because, again, it's convenient. Again, we'll end the set on the reign of a new duke. Well, a new ruler. So, long live Duke Nathaniel II of Brittany. Comes to the throne at the age of 12. His, uh, his king does not like him, not one bit. Why not? Well, because he's a title claimant. So that's actually not that bad that um, it went down this way, because he doesn't have any of the malice for um, he doesn't have any of the malice for starting the war, which is nice. So we will do, before we finish, finding a guardian for ourselves, and we'll make our guardian Arnold. There. Excellent. So I will see you guys in the next video, and until then, this is Grey Hunter signing out.